what am I going to put where? Just a little bit. What, what's kind of the, the structural hierarchy of, of this uh, thing that I'm building? And then referring to the content and not visualizing anything. Just kind of getting a feel for the structure. Just to, to start making it real. So it's a whole process. Um, these can be very valuable because you know how long it takes to make one of these? Like 10 seconds. So how many, if you want to do these iterations to figure out what feels better, you can make in about five minutes literally tens or maybe even more than a hundred of, of these things. They're kind of like thumbnail sketches. If you're designers, you know exactly what I mean. Just quick, quick sketches that actually give you an idea of what you're going to make uh, without having to put all the energy into it. Okay? So here's the mapping. This at the top, the navigation, logo, and you get it. It's easy, easy, nothing to it. Um, so easy, in fact, that we would be tempted to say, well, you know, don't need it, don't need it. But it's, it's really important because as far as I'm concerned, this, will, this should take the place of the wireframes that we're making now that take days and days and days to complete in OmniGraffle. And we make them clickable so that the client has this feeling they're already going through the app or the website um, when we haven't even designed it yet. So how hard is it to change the mindset of a client who's already walked through something that looks almost built when the designer comes along and, and makes decisions that are actually better for the thing that we're making, but which uh, get rejected because the client's pretty much used to what they've, what they've seen. I've seen it tens of times. So the next step is what I think uh, I did. I didn't call it designing a text, but Brian Rieger calls it that, and I think that's a great term for it, designing a text. Just thinking about what text you have in there. You could cut and paste real text and, and put it in here. And again, this is a very simple example. And what I do is I just write this stuff down or copy and paste it and make markdown of it um, just so I can kind of show the client, look, this is, this is the kind of textual content that we're dealing with. And if, the, if there's got to be a little widget or a button or some kind of interaction, I'll, I'll put that in there too. I won't describe everything because it's like putting lotion on your skin or whatever. So um, Then I convert it to HTML, um, which I use Pandoc, which is very awesome. Um, and you can use whatever you want. You could even do it in HTML. It doesn't really matter. I do it this way. I start off with plain text so that the client doesn't see all kinds of tags and 